Hi, I'm Peter Kelmstrom of Kelmstrom.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will talk to you about how to customize your Power Apps Canvas solution so that it can remove SharePoint items. So let's put that button first, the button that initiates that action on the task details screen. That's a clean canvas that we can work on. If we put it inside that form, that means that we can refer to this item, which is a good thing to do. So I'm just going to insert a new button. And of course, when you're removing things from SharePoint, they always end up in the recycle bin. And this is the case for this one also. But still, you should think about is removal what you're looking to do. Otherwise, hiding those items that are completed might be a better option for statistics on what's been done in the past and so on. But now we're actually talking about removal. So let's do that. Remove, remove, and then we're going to go into the on select. And the code for removing from a data source in Power Apps is simply remove, and then you select the data source that you want to remove from, and then you point out the actual item that you want to remove. And of course, that is the one that is selected in this gallery on the first page. Gal tasks to do, selected. So that actually does the removal. Once that is removed, then we're going to navigate back to the main screen because of course the item that we're showing has actually been removed. So let's go back to the list. So I'm just gonna navigate back to the task list screen. And again, I'm gonna do a cover there. So let's play this. Test five, that's a good one to remove. So I'm simply gonna click that, remove. We have a bit of action going on there and let's scroll down. And test five was indeed removed. So now we can go into test one, remove that one too. Test one is gone. Let's actually check in the data source, in this case, the SharePoint list, if they're gone there also. And test one is gone. Test five is gone. Let's do one more. Test 10, remove that one. And let's refresh this. And test 10 is gone also. And let's just check if they actually make it to the race cycle bin, just to make sure. So there's the recycle bin, and there they are. All right, so that concludes my demo on how to remove stuff. Well, actually, let's do one more step just to make it slightly nicer now that we've had such a, qu a quick demo. So we're going to go to the edit and the remove there. And just before we navigate, I'm just going to give a notification there, removed. Uh, you can restore it. All right. And then we can make that a green success. Notification type success. But let's try it one more time. And then we're done with this demo. Let's do test eight. Let's remove that one also. There we go. Task group mode, you can restore it from the, re the SharePoint recycle bin. All right. That concludes this demo. Thank you for watching.